Hi, my name is Arnita Lidiana Anadawit, and today I will present about the oil palm plantation. Oil palm, or in the scientific name, is El Elias genensis. It was come from the genus of Elias. It was used in the commercial agriculture in the production of the palm oil. The oil palm is the native to the west and the southwest of Africa. So I will present about the major pests on oil palm plantation. There is five types of pests in oil palm plantation. The first one is leaf eating caterpillars or defo defoliator such as oil palm bagworm and nettle caterpillars. Second is rhinoceros beetle that or in the scientific name is Oritis rhinoceros. Third one is Schaefer beetle. Next is oil palm bunch moth and lastly termites. So I choose the rhinoceros beetle. The scientific name of rhinoceros beetle is Oritis rhinoceros that come from the order Coleoptera and from the family of Scarab Scarabidae and it's also known as Kumbang Bada, Kumbang Tando, and Kumbang Hitam. The life cycle of rhinoceros beetle is from eggs that is 6 to 8 days then turns into first insta larvae 10 to 20 days after the eggs and from the first stage in the larvae it, it turns into the second insta larvae that is 12 to 21 days then it turns into the third insta larvae 60 to 125 days and next it's go to the pre pupa that is 7 to 13 days and turn out into the pupa 20 to 28 days from pupa it turns into the adult rhinoceros beetles that takes seven to eight days the symptom that occurs to the oil palm plantation is the rhinoceros will damage by boring through the young leaf bases of the palm it will feeding on succulent spears and cabbage tissue it will cause the second infection of fungi and bacteria. To control the rhinoceros beetle in the plantation, we use the tree, tree control management that is, the first one is cultural control that we will sanitize, sanitize, sanitize during the land preparation and hand picking. Second control, control is chemical control. We use the carbon furan, furan 3% to spears and axil of France. And lastly is pheromone trap. The management of beetle using the cultural practice by deposit deposit depositing debris in cloths and the trenches and planting legumes cover crops another control is using the virus rhabdion virus oritis the adult beetles will be collected using hand in the field drop 10 Drop the 10 microliter of the virus that were inoculated with, with the virus and place the inoculum on the mouth parts. The beetle will lay 
will leave the beetle will left on their back until they have sucked the virus liquid and it will be released side by placing the beetle to the ground and allow it to crawl away. Next is by the census. If we done by counting the adult beetles using the pheromone traps method, we can play, we can install the pheromone traps method at every two hundred meter along the canals, main drains, collection drains, or roadside of affected blocks. The height of traps is about 1 meter from the top of the oil pump canopy. To measure the control is implement when the number of the beetles trap exceeds 10 beetles per trap in a week. 0.06% of cypermetrin will be sprayed to the spear and bases on the new front every two weeks. Next major pest in the oil palm is nettle caterpillars. It comes from the order of Lepidoptera and the family is Lima Codida. There is several types of nettle caterpillar such as Cetoranitans, Darna Diducta, Darna Trima, Tosia Vestusa, and Cetotosia Asigna. The life cycle of these little caterpillars is from eggs that takes 4 to 7 days, then turn into the larvae 18 to 32 days. And after that, it goes to the pupa 17 to 27 days. And after, after it becomes a pupa, it will turn into the adult that takes 14 to 25 days. The symptom that damage to the oil pump is Severe defoliation, defoliation of leaf and total of skilo, skilo, skeletonization. The young caterpillars will scrape the strips of the epidermis and the whole of the leaf blade was been eaten and the caterpillars will fit near to the tips of and it walks backwards. It, it will eat all the lamina tissue and leave the midrib only. To control the nettle caterpillars, we use the foliar spray. That is, you spray it using the cypermetrin or delta metrin. Next is by the trunk injection that use Metamidophos or monocrotophos. The third one is bio biological control that use virus and fungi like Cordyceps or Bt. And the next one is by the sensors that will detect the det detection done monthly. Using the census method, after the pest was detected, a census was be carried out to determine the pest species. In the oil palm, in every 10 within a row, and one row in every 10 was, select, was be selected from front, was sampled from each of the upper, middle, and lower levels of the canopy. The threshold levels of 10 to 12 larvae per front were been set for the larger species. 
30 to 80 larvae for the small species will be take from the front. If the level will exceed to, the, to a detail, assessment was immediately carried out. Control measures will be implemented, implement, implemented when the number of the healthy larvae will exceed the critical levels. All right.